I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on annuities and future values. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting questions. Here is a question from one of the subscribers. Let us discuss how to solve it. Lisa borrowed to buy a piano paying $131 at the end of each month for six years. The bank charges interest on the loan at 8.71% compounded monthly. What was the cash price of the piano? How much is the cost of financing? That's the question. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let's first find how much she should actually pay, right? Lisa borrowed to buy a piano paying $131. So she paid $131 at the end of each month that means there are 12 months in a year for six years right so times 12 right this is the number of months times six years right so that is the amount she actually paid right so let's figure this out 131 times 12 times 6 9432 so listen 9432 so all these amounts are in dollars. So this is the amount paid. In dollars. Okay. Now, let's talk about borrowing and charges. The bank charges interest on the loan at 8.71% compounded monthly. So when you are compounding monthly, then the interest rate will be what? So the interest rate will be 8.71 divided by, this is percent, so we'll do 100 and compounded monthly means 1200, clear? So that becomes the interest rate. So let's figure this out. 8.71 divided by 1200, which is in decimals, well, we see a recurring number here, 333. Three, three. So we'll rather use the fraction itself, right? It seems to be it is 0 0.00725833. That is the number. Anyway, so that becomes the interest rate, right? And this is monthly interest rate, correct? Okay? N, the number of compounding periods are how many? So six years. And monthly means 12 times 6. Right? So that becomes 72. So the compounding periods are 72. The amount which every month she is paying, let's call this PMT, right? Per month amount is $131. What do we need to find? What was the cash price of the piano? That means we want to find the present value, correct? So let's write down the formula for present value. And then we'll continue from there after understanding a bit more about it. So present value formula is per month, whatever you're depositing into one minus one plus I to the power of N minus N divided by I. Okay. So that is your formula. Now we actually have all the values here which you can substitute and find the answer. Now you will also like to understand what is really happening and uh, what are we trying to do here. So think like this. This is our timeline, right? So we'll say this is today, correct? And uh, let me say this is today. Let me break this timeline a bit in between. Since uh, we're talking about six years, right? And that too, we have monthly payments, right? So that means every month uh, we have payments. So let's say month one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, you know, I should have gone up to 12, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that becomes one year, right? So, and then it continues. Let me break it here. And it continues for six years so what you notice here is that in in one year she actually 
borrows and then pays the amount right so so that is how we could look at it right now we want the present value of all these amounts present value will be much lower than what the value is on those days right so in this particular case since she is borrowing 131 dollars so for the first it will be 131 times this interest rate which is uh, i'm talking about one plus i right now since this figure is very complicated so so i'll just write uh, one plus i right so i'll use this number here i'll use this number one plus i itself right so the value here is 1 plus i to the power of minus 1, you see, for the first month. For the second month, it is going to be 131 times 1 plus i to the power of minus 2 and then be 131, I mean 131, 1 plus i to the power of minus 3. So that is how we can find the individual present value. So these becomes your present values correct so whatever amount you are borrowing from whatever amount you are actually paying in future that was the present value of that amount right so it amounts to be much higher if you pay it later that is what we are trying to say is that okay so that formula kind of relates to this so that kind of relates right now let's substitute the values and find using calculator so pmt the monthly payment is 131 1 minus 1 plus r value let me write this as such 8.71 over 1200 to the power of n which is 72 with the negative sign divided by all this which is 8.71 over 1200 correct now we need to use the calculator to find this answer so now what should we do we should actually work from inside out so 8.71 or we can just use this value is that clear that is simpler right so let's use this value so we have 131 bracket open 1 minus bracket open 1 plus now we'll use the decimal value 0 0.00725 8 33 okay and that is to be power of negative 72. So negative, use this negative, 72. And now we need to close the bracket. So, so that is the bracket close. And now we'll divide by, or we'll just say equal to, and then we are going to divide by 0 0.0072533. The rate of interest correct and write down our value so the present value comes out to be 7325.8 rounded to two decimal places 83 so that is the value which we get as the present value so now we can answer all our questions it means what was the cash price of the piano so the present value is the cash price of the piano so we can write down the cash price of the piano was dollar seven thousand three hundred twenty five and eighty three cents right how much is the cost of financing so she actually paid nine four three two so so the cost of financing will be difference of the two right is equal to ninety four thirty two take away this amount which is 7325.83 so i'll actually i have the value i'll just take away 9432 from it and write negative of whatever we get so we get 2106.17 so that is the cost of financing all on, all answers are in dollars is that clear to you so that is how you could actually answer this particular question. Now this question becomes difficult since uh, the rate of interest value is given in a way that, you know, 
you don't really get a very good number to work with. So at times, calculating here may create problems. So I hope you have understood the timeline also. When we are borrowing, right, so we are actually paying much higher than what we should have paid in the first go. But since we did not have that money, we had to borrow. So we are paying interest on this. So that is how we get to this formula. And as expected, the present value is kind of much lesser than the actual we have paid for it, right? And the difference of 2000 is kind of justifiable, right? So you can see that monthly payments compound to almost 20% uh, when we are saying 8.7%, right? So 8.7% may lo look a smaller amount, but it might result into almost 20% of your interest. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.